sweet friends. We hope you guys are having a blessed day. Davey and I are in Lancaster for a couple of days. Um, this morning we are heading to Agape. It is a restaurant. We absolutely love it here. Um, I enjoy their breakfast, um, but come along with us for today. So we are just leaving Agape. It is a must stop for us for breakfast. I had the red, white, and blue waffle and it was absolutely wonderful. It was so good. I've had their um, charcuterie boards with the waffle board and then also the pancake board. If you are one person, I highly suggest splitting with someone. I split it with my kiddos typically, and there is still plenty left over. Um, so it's very shareable if you get like the waffle board and pancake. And then they also have a charcuterie board for lunch and dinner. We've never ate there for lunch and dinner. We kind of talked about that maybe for lunch. We'll have just to wait and see what we decide. Um, Davey got the omelet. What'd you get, babe? Meat and cheese omelet. <clears throat> it was really good. Had plenty of meat and plenty of cheese. Plenty of eggs. It was big. <laughs> um, I also got the sausage links in the caramel macchiato iced. The caramel macchiato was delicious. I like anything that has caramel in it. Um, now, I will say the sausage links, they were a little bit different than what I'm used to having, <clears throat> um, but it was still pretty good. Um, do you like the gravy? Davey also got some gravy too. The gravy was different, not what I was really accustomed to. So yeah, yeah. That was a pass for me. But I will say that is the best breakfast here in Lancaster. So if you are here, we highly recommend stopping in at Agape. Shocker, we are now going in deep shopping. If you know us, that is one of our fun date nights. Um, we really enjoy looking at antiques. The person who owns this particular antique section is Davy. I'm pretty sure it's Davy in another body. There's deer and turkey and cast iron skillets. Couldn't be me. I never sell my stuff. Okay, so typically it's Davey, the one who's buying antiques. But you guys, this is from my childhood. It's a Fisher Price little barn and we had one and we were rough. If you don't know me, I am rough with everything, but it is absolutely adorable and in perfect condition. My mom still has all the little Fisher Price barn pieces. I'm so excited to show my kiddos and my family. Hope they're as excited as I was when I saw it. It even makes a little moo sound when you open the barn doors. Brings back a lot of childhood memories. You excited? can't contain myself. <laughs> I know you guys are so shocked that we ended up at the Disney store, but I always enjoy going to any Disney store. But I do want to let you guys know, we honestly are vacation shoppers. We don't typically do a lot of shopping at home. Um, if we need anything, I'll 
pretty much do a grocery pickup or I will have Amazon. I honestly hate in-store shopping unless I'm on vacation. Let me know if you are different or in the same way. Are you a vacation shopper too? So we just finished up at Main Street Exchange. Uh, we as in me. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's really nice that um, Main Street has like a storefront so if you are a modest lady or you have some little girls you can shop online or you can come to Lancaster. If you're ever able to come to Lancaster I highly recommend stopping in at Main Street. It's a beautiful store and I'm very thankful that there is a storefront. This guy was a trooper uh, through it all and I am very <laughs> thankful <laughs> that they do have nice couches um, that he got to sit on and test out while I shop. Now we are gonna head um, back to the steamboat. I'm gonna change and maybe grab some dinner before sight and sound. We are heading to see Daniel. So it was our first time at Miller Smorgasbord and I will say I had never been here. We have our favorites in Lancaster. Um, let me know your favorite restaurants below, but their raspberry tea and their fried chicken, oh my goodness, it was amazing. So we just ate at Miller's. What do you think, I? It was amazing. It was really good. I want to say it's the best buffet in Lancaster. That, I mean, there's quite a few buffets. Um, we like Diener's as well. Um, we've been to Shady Maple. Um, Shady Maple has kind of went downhill um, on some of their foods. It's been about a year and a half since I've been there, so it might have gotten better. But we wanted to try out Miller's. It was amazing. We had their fried chicken. Yeah, it was really good. A lot yeah. of good desserts as well. Yeah. Always good. Always good. So if you're in the area, we highly recommend checking it out. Now I'm gonna go shop for quilts. <laughs> So while we were waiting on our Daniel Showtime, we stopped by Peaceful Valley. They have a few different locations here in Lancaster, but we went to the one that's on the main road with um, Sight and Sound, and it is so beautiful inside. I highly recommend going in, doing a little bit of shopping. I enjoy picking up a few pieces for our home. They also have some beautiful furniture as well. Davy found the bargain room at Peaceful Valley and I couldn't be more excited. So we just got back to the room after watching Daniel at Sight and Sound. We absolutely love Sight and Sound. Um, we have seen quite a few plays, been very blessed to come see them. I had actually watched Daniel before, I believe I was in high school, and they have like um, touched it up, um, renovated kind of a play. I'm not really sure how they, how you say that in like theater terms, but it was phenomenal. We highly recommend if you are able to come to Lancaster and watch Daniel, highly recommend it. We absolutely love coming to see the sight and sound plays. Let me know your favorite down below. I will say that Daniel was wonderful. I highly recommend coming to see it. I don't know if it's my favorite um, personally. Um, it was still really, really good, but my top favorites have got to be Jesus, Esther, and Ruth. 
I absolutely love those and David. David's really good too. Um, but those three are probably my top three. Um, but there have been so many. They're so good. Um, I wish they would bring Noah back. I know you can get the DVD and watch it. My little ones would absolutely love that. So you may be wondering if I would recommend bringing your babies, toddlers, little ones to the show. And I have to say it honestly depends on you and your family how you feel your little ones can sit during a long span sight and sound does have a really nice nursery if your little ones get restless need to eat um just need to get some wiggles out they have a very nice nursery there's a couch there's a tv um there's also a nursing room at lancaster i'm not sure about branson but i would think it would be the kind of the same setup um, but I will say it is really nice um, if you do bring your little ones and they do get restless. I do want to say that we did bring our little girl when she was about two months old and I spent quite a long time in the nursery. I didn't want to bother other families. They've spent a lot of money to be there so um, if she was restless or needed to eat, I just went ahead and went on out to the nursery. It's still really nice, but I will say it's just not the same as sitting in the play um, and enjoying it live. So I do want to say that as my little ones have gotten older, um, they have thoroughly enjoyed coming to see the sight and sound plays. We actually have the DVDs and enjoy watching them at home. But I do want to say that like my little ones go to church twice a week. Um, they sit still pretty much the whole services. Um, so I do base a lot of things that we do off of that. Like they can sit still for this extended amount of time. So they should be able to watch a play. And I will say as my little guy has went to school, um, he has done even better with it. So even school age, you can think about like that. But I can't necessarily say that you and your family should come see it. You're just going to have to base it on you and your little ones and how they do and make that decision for yourself. We hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with us to Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I'm just going to add this ending to um, our full day just because we are heading home. So excited to see our babies and give them hugs and kisses. Um, but we're not really doing anything on this travel day. So I'll just end it here. We hope you guys have enjoyed coming with us to Lancaster. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. We hope you guys have a blessed day. We'll see you real soon.